Okay, good morning. I'm uh, Jelle van der Waal. I work at Red Hat uh, on the cockpit team. Uh, if you run Arch Linux, you also might know me. I'm a developer there. Uh, but as it's a lightning talk, let's get into the topic. So, if you're not familiar with Cockpit, this is Cockpit. It's uh, the web console for, for Red Hat, uh, for RHEL, and it offers a lot of, we offer a lot of features. So we have, this is the main overview page, we have logs, we have storage, networking accounts, almost anything you could do on a CLI, you can also do in the Cockpit web UI. And except one thing, which we worked on. Um, we have a, the storage page. It uh, can manage LVM. Uh, it can do I iSCSI, Stratis. For this, um, it partially uses UDISCs. And for, uh, to, to interact, to ask, uh, for, to fetch the disks, to do like create a partition, to resize partitioning, etc. cetera. Um, we, have a, we had a long standing feature request to support ButterFS. Um, but we, as this isn't in RHEL, and a cockpit is a, a RHEL project, uh, we didn't give it, we, it, it didn't give it that much priority. But um, since Anaconda is now going to use the uh, cockpit web UI, and they want to use the cockpit storage page, we uh, could spend some time on working this out. So this has already been the default um, file system since Fedora 33. So it was a long time coming, coming for us to add support. We had, it had a lot of people requesting it. So that was a nice, um, for us it was really nice to start working on this. And if you're familiar with ButterFS, you can ask yourself the question like, is it a file system? I mean, it's so much more. It, you can have snapshots, you can have RAID 1, RAID uh, 5, you can even combine things. It is a very, uh, you have, can give quotas. There's so much technology to put into uh, a UI, it's almost impossible. So, as a spoiler, we didn't. <laughs> Um, but the first step for us was like, how would we visually uh, represent ButterFS? So normally you have like a partition or uh, and you you put a file system on it like X4 and that's it. Seems really easy. But for ButterFS you can have multiple disks. You can have um, sub volumes which are uh, like. Um, a directory in your in your file system. So this is all was all. Um, it took some time for us to to find a way to to represent this, and we also couldn't really find anything else which already made the UI for ButterFS. So we did some thinking. We ended up like you have a block device, you have multiple uh, ButterFS devices. So say you have like RAID one, then you have two disks, which both are part of the same ButterFS file system. And on top of that, you have the volume. And then from the volume, you can create sub-volumes. And so this will be the, the logical hierarchy for us in the web UI. And we also uh, change the whole storage page. So it would all be also could support trees. And after that, adding ButterFS was a really nice, nice way to see this uh, new storage redesign happen. Of course, there were some challenges. Um, UDISCs is uh, mostly uses uh, uses liblockdev, and this just um, basically is a, a wrapper around CLI utilities like um, like the ButterFS utility and. For X4, it also uses like MK XFS, and uh, this is all. I would say not so. It's not great. It works, and this this also meant that it uh, that the API, which was created uh, way before us, is a bit is very limited for for us uh, for our use case, and um, that was something where we. Uh, luckily, in Cockpit, we can also run commands ourselves and get the output and parse them and visualize them. So it is, but uh, it meant that we had to do some 
partly we use UDISCs and partly we do we just run the ButterFS um, subvolume list command, for example. So I would like to to uh, see this improve, but this is yeah, there's a long way to go and a lot of time to spend uh, spend on this. And also the the ButterFS CLI utility, there's not really there's one library, but it doesn't do anything. Um, so the best way, the, yeah, this is, so I have one pull request to open to like, add like JSON support for one of the ButterFS um, commands. But yeah, this is a, a long, long-term investment to, if you really want to get this into a nice state. Um, yeah, so this is the current state. So we have, um, I'll later give a demo. So we basically can create a, a ButterFS uh, file system we can create sub volumes. We can manage them. You can delete them. We can, um, and we can do. We detect. We do not do anything with multi um, devices, so like a RAID one, but we do uh, display them for you. And in the future, we, or at least I already have some PRs where I'm working on adding a support for creating snapshots and deleting snapshots and. Uh, better visualizing the snapshots, so now they are just listed as subvolumes. But ideally, as a user, you would be able to see what are snapshots and what are normal subvolumes. Uh, we would like to resize them. This is not hard. This is something you just already can. But uh, compared to all the other file systems, we resize them offline. So we first amount them, resize, and then mount them back again. And on ButterFS, this all happens online. There's no offline resizing at all. And the real nice thing, but this is really hard, is it will be to do multi-device uh, support. But we don't currently don't have a good way to get the data from a ButterFS uh, about what kind of um, metadata uh, you have. So I'll do a short demo. Um, so this is the storage page. You see I have a a whole bunch of disks and they are all part so I can click on them I can see they are this one is part of the rate uh, 5 butter of volume and if I click here I can see that this volume has multiple disks and um, and I can see all the the sub volumes under them I can create a new one here like uh, Nana, I can mount them if I want to. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Oh. Yeah, that's that's basically all there is to it. And so, if there are any questions. Or any, what he wants to see some features or integration. I'm all ears. Um, so the question was is there any plan for quotas? Um, I, not yet. I think, I don't think we have the quota from there. Yeah, actually, yeah, UDISCs. Export some code information. Um, mm, I must say, I use ButterFS for six years, and I've never used Quota, so I, I would need to. <laughs> I would need to do some research, and we need to figure out how to to visualize it. I believe you need to create a Quota group first, and then you assign this to a, a sub volume, right? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, um, I can. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry. So the question was, how would the snapshot look in the UI? I can quickly. This is under debate, but uh, <laughs> I should have. So, and this is a bit undecided. Basically, you would see. Um, the snapshots of the uh, so the, of the current sub volume we are seeing. So if you go to the sub volume detail page, you would see a list of snapshots. And this, yeah, this kind of shows 
uh, as a bad example. But yeah, that, that will be the design. Yeah. And we, we probably want to filter them on the, on the, so if you go, if I go to the, my normal machine, I would see a lot of snapshots, because uh, a lot of sub volumes and snapshots, because I use Popman with ButterFS. And we probably want to filter the snapshots here on the main page, but um, yeah, if you click, we, need, we probably need like two ways, because people usually have like a separate sub volume where they have their snapshots. So probably you want to see your snapshots underneath there. But it's also cool that you can see, like, I right, click on my root or my home uh, sub volume and see the, all the, uh, the snapshots there as well. So probably we want to do like two ways. And we're also working on the creation of some, but this is also uh, a work in progress. So I think the latest design was, was this, but that's all work in progress. So. Martin. Yeah. So the question is, how well does UDISC represent the ButterFS file system? Basically, yeah. Um, it doesn't give you a nice, nice way. So basically, it gives you. Um, you can see what the ButterFS file systems are. Um, and you can ask it the, the sub volumes and you get like a, an array with, um, I think tuples, like with the ID and the name, but there's no like high level overview. So uh, what I would ideally want is how we created it. So you have like a better of device, you have a file system, you have a sub volume that th these would be separate objects with methods and properties, but that's probably going to be a lot of work. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, go ahead. Yeah. So the uh, yeah the, the the answer or the uh, request is to see common mount options like, like co and yeah copy and write and compression, and compression. Um, mm. yeah yeah so yeah the only way we offer this is like you can set custom mount options but yeah. Uh, the question was if you can see the uh, mount options in the UI. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all oh right. You can see it for a mount point. So, yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can edit them, but there's no... We don't know all the mount options, and I'm not sure how e if you can even easily request all the mount options. It sounds like a trap. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you.